Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about sorter transformation in IACS. First, let us understand what sorting is. Say, for example, we have some alphabets like, you know, B, B, A, C, something like this, right? So, when what do you mean by sorting these elements is? So, we wanted to order these elements in some order, like, say, for example, in ascending order, alphabetical order, ascending, right? So, A, B, C, D. This is the order, right? So alphabetical order and that too in, in ascending order, right? So in the same way, we can order these elements in descending order. Just reverse of this, if we have DCBA, then that's the descending order of this elements, right? So not only alphabets, it could be numbers as well, right? So say for example, something like this, right? So if you wanted to sort these numbers, right? In maybe descending order this time, so this is the descending order of these elements, right? So ordering the elements in either ascending or descending order is called sorting, right? Not only numbers and alphabets, it could be even a date as well. Say for example, past date, present and future date, right? So, uh, you know, as ordering or sorting these dates in ascending order would be past, present and future and descending would be the reverse of it, future, present and past, right? So this is a basic understanding of sorting. Now, let us see how to create a sorter transformation in IACS. Once you log in into IACS, select data integration service and create a mapping. I have already created a mapping here, as you can see. So I have a source Oracle. I have already configured the connection for it and I'm going to use customer stable. So here is my customer stable in Oracle database. So this is my source. And we can see there are around 49 Four ninety nine rows here in this customer's table, right? And what we wanted to do now is we wanted to write this data into a flat file, but not as is. So if you see customer ID, so we wanted to sort this customer ID. It's not in an order. So we just wanted it to sort by ascending order. So once we sort this customer ID, so this is how the data has to look. And this is how we wanted to write the data into a flat file target, right? So this is the data we have in the database, right? So let's go back. So this is my source and we can just test the connection here. Yeah. Test connection is successful. So now let's verify the target. So my target is a flat file. And the location where the file has to be generated is at my secure agent installation directory. All right. So now uh, we wanted to read data from source Oracle and write it to the target, but we wanted the data to be sorted on customer ID. So how do we do that? We need to use sorter transformation for this. And you can see here, between the source and target, there's a link, right? And to the, on the link, if you hover your mouse, so you, you can clearly see here, a blue circle, right? In, and inside it, there are three white dots. So just click on it and you can choose the transformation, sorter transformation, right? So here it is. So this is one way, or what we could do is, we could actually select it from the, onto the left. On to the left, you see design and there are transformations, right? So you can just drag and drop this transformation here onto this link. So this is how you actually put in your transformation, sorter transformation, right? Now we need to configure this sorter transformation. So in general, we can actually name it and you can see the incoming fields. All the incoming fields of the source are displayed here, right? And this is the place where we can provide a sort condition, sorted condition. So just click on this plus and provide the field. So I wanted to sort it by customer ID, right? So just select customer ID and we can choose the order, whether it is ascending or descending order. For now I'm choosing ascending. Like this, we can have multiple conditions added here uh, to sort on multiple fields, right? So for now I'm only sorting based on customer ID. And also we can choose case sensitivity here so that, uh, you know, uh, 
So when you enable this case sensitive property, the transformation plots uppercase characters higher than lowercase characters. So if we select this, and also we can select this distinct checkbox so that uh, you know that output rows are treated as distinct. So for now, I'm leaving everything as default. So just save it. And let me show you here in my security agent installation directory, there is no customers.csv. So it has to generate that file and customer ID has to be sorted. So let's run this mapping now. So select the runtime environment of your secure agent and run the job. So you can view the status of the job in my jobs. And you can see the job status is success now. So let's verify the file. So you can see customers.csv file has been generated. So let's open the file and validate the data. Yeah, you can see here, the data has been sorted by customer ID and has been written to the flat file. So this was the data and we got the data sorted by customer ID. So this is how we got the data right into the file. We can verify it here. And the number of records also we can verify. So the number of records were 499 and you can see the same number of records got generated in the flat file as well. So as a sorted transformation is a passive transformation, there was no change in the number of data rows. So there are two types of transformations, uh, active transformations and passive transformation. In active transformation, uh, there will be a change of uh, number of data rows and in passive transformation the number of uh, data rows from the source never changes so sorted transformation comes under passive transformation so like this we can actually sort data based on uh, number custom uh, customer id right so we can sort on full name or in case like say for example customer data if you wanted to view the top customers top valued customers we can sort it on like a purchase uh, purchase order or purchase amount right so that we can get a top valued customers like that and so looking at a sorted transformation it looks simpler but it is powerful when used with uh, other transformations like lookup and aggregator in this video we have seen how to use sorted transformation in iacs so that's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching.